tonight on Big Brother. A crazy end to a crazy week in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Two days left before the four become three. It's time to party. <laughs> Day 74. One more day of task. Yes. I hope it's a big one. What do you mean? I feel like lots of exercise. Don't speak too soon, Chris. Let's do a marathon! Christina's desire for exercise isn't a shared one. The rest of the house is feeling lazy after celebrating their win in the $100,000 challenge. I've always wanted to be like a mascot. What? <laughs> Hope a hot chick wore this before me. <laughs> <laughs> There's another leftover from the challenge. The props need to be removed. <laughs> you look like a jockey. It's Sarah Marie's turn to replace the batteries in the housemate's microphones, but she's sleeping in. This is Big Brother. Would Sarah Marie please come to the diary room? No! He's a poor Why me? Hello, big brother. Hello. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Yes, great. <laughs> Is that what you got me out of bed for? <laughs> big brother would like to ask you to do a battery change. Yes. Thank you. With the house down to just four occupants, there are more opportunities for intimacy. I had the best night's sleep ever. Yeah, I slept too well. It wasn't too bad. Hi, Blair. Hi. I come over there. Oh. One. I need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so funny in the morning. Who will be evicted from the house this week? Here's how to have your say so it makes a difference. 
If you want Christina to be evicted from the house, call 1902 555012. If you want her to stay, vote for either Ben or Sarah Marie. Their numbers will be shown later in the program. Please note the core costs are 55 cents, including GST. Rates may be higher for mobile and pay phones. Voting ends 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next Sunday, the 8th of July, when final results will be released and Big Brother's 11th eviction will be shown live on 10. Next on Big Brother... See ya. Christina has been granted her wish for lots of exercise. The final leg of this week's Touring Australia task is a simulated run around the base of Ayers Rock, a nine kilometre marathon. Hey? Hi! How you going? <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> Did you say have you party. made it next week? Would you just be happy that you've made the 12 weeks or would you be disappointed that you didn't win? Uh, I, I don't think I'd be disappointed if I didn't win, especially after last night. Yeah. That was kind of, you know, that was one of the things I was worried about when I get out of here that I wouldn't, or well, my family wouldn't have anything to fall back on. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. So that's good, that's solved. So, three more nights. Sam Water. Sam Water. <laughs> Thanks, love. Coming, hey. husband. Thanks, cuddles. There you go, look em. Do you want me to get your towel? Yeah. Despite not being able to smoke since she entered the house, Sarah Marie has decided to make tomorrow her official quit smoking day. I haven't even smoked for three months and I'm still scared I'm quitting tomorrow. <laughs> it's a good decision. Great decision. Because in five years' time, I'd be 28, and I do not want to be smoking by the time I'm like older. Mm. I don't want to be one of those old chicks. I'm a bag, you know. A definite Cheryl. Hey? A definite Cheryl. Yeah. My mum's been saying since as long as I don't remember, I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit. Yeah, see, I don't want to do that. Now she's 68. Yeah. She's still smoking. Yeah. That's bad. I can still so she had you when you were up 40, when she was 41? Yep. I was adopted. Where? Seriously? Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's amazing. Ah, the penny drops, thank you. <laughs> it all makes mm -hmm. sense. Can I ask how old you were? Uh, six weeks. Uh, okay. Still a little bambino. <laughs> <laughs> Little ballerina. Little ballerina. Hi, Blair. The emptiness of the Big Brother house seems to bring the remaining housemates closer together. Good morning, morning. Hi. Right. Oh, oh, the corner of the bed's really sharp. <laughs> you always hurt yourself, baby. Oh, no. Oh. It's your bum. Scratch it. Don't touch those red ones. Well, that's what you have to touch. No, no, no. There's no Which hairs ones? in them. Those ones down here. Yeah, you got, and you've got a big white head there. Uh huh, cool. A humongous one. Uh huh, cool. Ooh. Wowzers. Oh, <laughs> Nose away from my pits. Feels like it's raining outside or something. <laughs> <laughs> In a little snuggle mood? Yep. This is Big Brother. Oh! It's time to announce the results of this week's task. It's not the real one. You decide to bet 90 cent of your budget. If you passed, your budget for next week will be $140. If you failed, it will be seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you have passed this week. Yay! 
If you think Sarah Marie should go from the house, call 1902 555 If you want her to stay, vote for either Ben or Christina. Coming up on Big Brother. Before, at times, no one can get under my skin more than you can. But there are some other times where I just want to hug you. <laughs> The housemates are starting to consider returning to normal life and relationships outside the closet of the Big Brother house. But are you prepared for when we get out of here and um, housemates that have left, that have told radio stations or newspapers or whatever certain things about us characters or yes. us that are still in here? Yes. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Yes, and I am. And it wouldn't be hurtful? Because yeah, I've got be pretty sure, otherwise. I'm pretty sure what each person in... I can sit and tell you now, each person that has left that house, what they would say about me. A, a rough idea. I, I've, I'm pretty sure what they'd say. Like, in some instances, I may be wrong, which more than likely I will be, but I think out of 80% of those people that have left, I know what they think about me, and, and I'm kind of happy in some instances that I do feel that, because that's the way I wanted to be portrayed to them. If I don't like someone, I will not sit there and pretend to talk to them. I, I don't know if it's unpolite or impolite, but I just won't do it because I don't feel that someone should accommodate for someone that they don't like. If they don't want to be near them, I'll remove myself, and I do do that. But you didn't really, really like, say, me or Andy, right? Say me, because I'm still here at the beginning, but if you were given the opportunity not to have the chance to get to know me, you wouldn't have got to know me, but because you had to get to know me because you're stuck in a house, you found out that you ended up liking me. So mm. maybe you could go through life, first impressions, you don't like that person, but hey, at the end of the day, after a couple of weeks, they might turn out to be one of your best mates. Now, if you turn your head to every person you don't like and you're not going to give them that chance, you're missing out on a lot of friendships. Yep. If that makes sense, like growing up through life, you're going to be at jobs or situations where you're going to meet people and you think, yeah. oh, what an <laughs> you've met them when they're drunk or something. You know, just little things when you can't, oh, it's up to you, but I don't really think that you can turn your face on people if you, you don't like them in the first few hours you meet them. But I know, it, it, no, that's fair enough. But can you, have you ever been able to tell initially from the person's initial reaction, how they feel. Um. And you know that it's just not going to waver. I, I, I'm, I just know when I meet a person, I know from the feeling that they give me and the feeling that I give them whether things are going to be nice or be ruptured. And, yeah, it's very but circumstantial. It, it, where's getting to know someone come in then, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it may be a thing where you don't express yourself a lot to people that you don't really know, and maybe that person doesn't either, so how are you ever going to get to know each other? Conversation turns to Blair's relationship with Anita and her parting shot at him. It, yeah, it's got off the topic, but I don't know. I'd, like I said, I think Anita is a very interesting person. I really do. I honestly do. But I just totally disagree with what she said and I disagree with the position that she's put me in. I think that is what she did. Signed, sealed, delivered. That's it. No more. See, yeah. there were things about Anita that I total sincerity, I totally liked and I could have a chat and I could actually learn a few things about, like culturally, a few things about a background that I didn't know. Yeah. But I could sympathise with that because my family has a lot of friends who are like that. Yeah. But personality type, there were just some things and I thought, hang about, you're, you're making a response that you, you really shouldn't then, have a then, response about. Yeah, and, and she's putting that across whatever way she is to Australia. To the nation and exactly. without the people to defend it. E yeah, but yeah. exactly, but people have seen already what she's said and done anyway. You know what That's I mean? what annoys me. I heard the people oh. booing. Sorry. Yeah. I, I just want you to know where I stand. I know where I know you where stand, you, yeah. and I know where you stand too, and 
there's just a That's different... That's the great thing about our relationships. Like, as I said to you before, at times, <coughs> no one can get under my skin more than you can. But there are some other times where I just want to hug you. <laughs> I just want to hug you. <laughs> hug you and cuddle me. Hug you and cuddle you and muck around. Please be mean to me! And yet you annoy the s*** out of me. But we have that respect for each other where we know that. But I like what happened there. And what she said about me, I've got absolutely no problem with one bit. But how she went about saying stuff and about other people. I know. I hang about. But you hear me, don't you? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Do me get up now, Blair? No. I love it. You're Can you warm. Me too? <laughs> if you want Ben to go, call 1902 555010. If you want Ben to stay, vote for either Christina or Sarah Marie. <laughs> After the break. Come on, take, come on, take, God. Good night, Bella. See you, See ya. This is It'll fall, I promise you. I promise it the will men not. men in our family are all everything. Everything's going to be all right. After all the exercise of the task, Christina decides she'll have an early night. Cool. But sleep is the last thing on the minds of the other three. Could I tape you up? Preferably not. You can tape me up as well. I'll tape you up first. Will you let me tape you up? Afterwards? Yeah. Showing well, your family's in, life? Oh, you can do me first as long as what you do to me, I'll do to you. OK. There's got to be use, enough left, though. Will you sure in for Vassar? No, you can use my eyebrows, I don't want. Oh, and you've got me. to do, too. No, you'll talk to me. What are you doing? Get up. No, it's got to be pretty f normal. Yeah, totally. It's going to hurt, isn't it? Not no, it won't. Oh, this is his taping you're talking about. And we'll do it, we'll do a bull head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that'll do. My nah. eyes are hurting. Seriously, my eyes are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you would love it. A couple of lobes. <laughs> My name is Blair, I am Noonan, I will scrum in the lock position, or the prop. Hello boys, it's time for shows. So what do you do, you do this and then... Start over. off at the forehead, where that is bent, on the forehead. Yeah. Go around and cover the ears. It's not as clean as yours, but still funny. I must go to the Come on, take, come on, take, God. The boys decide to recruit Sarah Marie onto their team. How scary. Whoa. I'm at Dream World. And we're all wallabies, okay? Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, my come forehead! On, Just up. come on. Come on. Do a footy play. After the stress of a long and eventful week, the idea of doing something completely silly proves irresistible. Scrum. <laughs> and lock. <laughs> After this, what are you going to do with your hair? Dark brown. Back to its normal colour? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to do that? 
Oh, after a little while, I'm sick of dying at blonde. Sick of it. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, what a... Oh, that really hurt. Oh, You're a... F Where did you hit it? Oh, my head. <laughs> Let me have a look, please. No, I can't, because that really hurt. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I think I'm cursed. Frogged. Oh, I'll call you Brian. Oh, oh give me some ice block. Oh, Can I have a look if you no, cut it's it? F it's not bleeding. Oh. <laughs> graze on the head. Actually, not a graze, a dent. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt. Remember, you decide who gets evicted from the Big Brother house. If you think it should be Ben, ring 1902 555010. If you want to evict Sarah Marie, call 1902 555011. And if you think Christina should go, 1902 555012. You can vote right now. Please note, call costs are 55 cents, including GST. And voting ends 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 8th of July, when final results will be released and Big Brother's 11th eviction will take place live on 10. For more news on your favourite housemate, go to bigbrother.com.au. G'day, betters here. Catch more news, gossip and bitching from inside the Big Brother house with regular updates on Triple M or read about it in the Herald Sun. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.